Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Removing trailing zeros from a numeric value in Java can be quite common, especially when dealing with decimal numbers. This can be especially important when formatting numbers for output in user interfaces or when preparing data for databases. In Java, you can achieve this using various methods. Below. I'll cover a few approaches, including converting the number to a string, using big decimal, and formatting the output. Hashtag 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 method 1, using string manipulation. One simple way to remove trailing zeros from a decimal number is to convert it to a string, then manipulate that string to remove the zeros. Hashtag 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 method 2, using big decimal. Big Decimal is a class in Java that is used for high precision arithmetic. It can also be used to remove trailing zeros effectively. Hashtag 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 Method 3, using decimal format. You can also use decimal format from the java.txt package to control the number formatting, which automatically removes trailing zeros. Hashtag 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 Explanation of each method. One string manipulation, this method converts the number to a string and uses regular expressions to remove any trailing zeros and the decimal point if it becomes unnecessary. Two big decimal, this method takes advantage of big decimal s strip trailing zeros, method, which is designed to remove trailing zeros from the decimal representation of the number, and to plain string, to get the number in string format without scientific notation. 3 decimal format, this method uses a specific pattern to format the number, ensuring that it doesn't display unnecessary trailing zeros. You can adjust the pattern in decimal format to specify how many decimal places you want to show. Hashtag 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 conclusion. Each method has its use case depending on your needs, such as precision and format requirements. Using big decimal is generally recommended for financial and precise calculations, while string manipulation is quick and easy for simple tasks. Decimal format is useful for formatted output display. Choose the method that best fits your context.